Like, I, if either your parents are not Jewish, then you can't be Jewish. Your mother? Yeah. yeah. They would actually go back. No, they would trace the tribe from the father. The tribe is always traced from the father. The letter of the law doesn't you know, mean yeah, that. It, no, actually, actually that, no, I'm, talking about, I'm not talking about righteousness. I'm talking about the, the preservation of the Quran. And that's something else. Which this is, this is this advantage. The Bible has nothing to do with this advantage, with this. Yes. According, yeah. Because we don't have people who memorize the whole Bible. No one. Yeah? yeah. The whole, the Old Testament. Yes. There is no one. Even, so, like, even just the New Testament. I can even memorize a page. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we have people, even non-Arab speakers, who memorize the Quran in Arabic language, in its original form. And children. Yeah, children as young as five and six years old. All of it. They will, they will read the whole of it. That's amazing. Do you know why? Because God said in the Quran, we are sending down this remembrance and we will be preserving it. So God promised to preserve the Quran. So this promise, we see it. We see it. We see it tangible evidence until now. Because the Muslim is so devout, you're probably one of the most devout people on. on that's true. Yeah. That's part of it. Along with the Jews, probably. That, that's not, actually very, very even people. the Jews. They're, they're so not they bring their kids up from birth to learn and they'll teach them the education. The Jews haven't yeah. memorized the Torah like the way yeah, the, the, Jews, the Jews they don't. The, the Jews they don't memorize their Torah like us. The Jews they don't, they don't memorize that we the way that we do we deal with it is literally we have what they call these madrasas and these schools. Like literally each one will say. I read, I read this Quran from my teacher and teacher of my teacher, but they teach all the way to the companions of the Prophet, all the way to the Prophet which means all this chain are well-known figures, well-known people. So there is no ambiguity, there is no one, each single one in the chain is known and will and trustworthy and known in his transmission. That's how it is. It's not just only one chain. You have to believe that. It's not, no, no, not believe. Listen, it. there's not believe. Not believe. There's not believe. If you study, if you study the Quran, it's like mind blowing. I'm sure that the Muslim people are more pleasing to the real, to the true God than most of the other because of the way you live your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that's are, that's and, that's true. But actually, but actually, the way that it is structured is not just only one person. It's not one person from another. We're talking about the Prophet peace be upon him taught the Quran, for example, to, for example, 10 people, those 10 people, each one taught the Quran to 100, and the 100, and so on and so forth. So we're talking yeah, about a huge... on you having to believe that. Yeah, and that's, so and, and how like the Quran... King James Version. Listen, it's a version. That, it's you know a version. I mean? So that's so why, and, and the Quran is tested on a daily basis in every single mosque. When the Imam is reciting in front of the people, yeah, he will recite. If he made a single mistake, you will find 10 people behind him, rectifying him, even if he made a mistake with vowel, with vowel. If he said, ah, instead of uh, or instead of e, to that extent, it is so sophisticated to that extent. Pronunciation even, is protected. Even uh, a young preserved. child, yeah. even a young child will rectify the adult, will say to him, no, the pronunciation is like this. Like, for example, the other day, I was, I was doing, uh, reciting uh, Surah Taha, one of the chapters of the Quran. And while I was I just bored. just try to get to, to you know just to go to refresh my memory about it, and my son, he was 11 years old. May Allah preserve him, protect him, and give bless him. So he was there. So I was I was reading Surah Taha, and I said, yeah, when I was saying uh, uh, about the story of Musa alayhi salam, when Allah Adal has said, Inni ana Rabbuka I'm your Lord. Take off your sandals. Uh, that you are in the holy valley of Tuwa. I said. I said instead of inni, I said innani. And then my son said to me, no Baba, it's inni. Mashallah. Can you imagine? So yeah, so all is that proves, and that, all is that proves is that the, the version that Muhammad brought out has been kept. Preserved. Uh, preserved. preserved. Yeah. Which Inna. is an important thing. But what I'm saying is that I don't believe the version Muhammad brought out was no, no, but when, when you say belief, you know, that's no, different. No, no, we are talking about belief, multiple, we're, we're talking about, listen, multiple independent yeah, someone, attestations. Someone, it's not just a belief. And everyone repeating a lie, it doesn't make it the truth. Yeah, okay, okay, that's fine. No, no, no. Listen, that's fine. I will tell you, the, the, I'm talking about the preservation of the scripture. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about if the yes. Bible is not preserved, yeah. which is, you know. Okay. If even the Mark or, or John, those who are even ambiguous people, no one knows who's John. Literally, even the, the biblical scholars, they debated who's this John, who is he? And then they debated, they, they, even they came to our nearly four or five 
people who are which one is John? Is he this one? Definitely he's not the, he's not John the Baptist. Sorry, the John, the, not John the Baptist. Definitely as well he is not John the disciple because this John he literally got his Bible from Mark, which is another problem. Do you see the issue here? Mark was never a disciple. And, and was Mark was never a disciple. I'm not in disagreement. With yeah, you. my point is, so how you rely on a scripture? You, John, yeah. how do you rely on a scripture? You which is, you, you, I'm talking about you. How you rely on a scripture that has all this ambiguity, it has, it's not preserved, you don't know who said who, you don't know which is which, you don't know if that was the word of Jesus or not. You don't know. You're assuming. Yes. And you built your faith on assumption. Is this what God wants from you? God wants me to be a righteous man. He wants me to how to be people. How to be a righteous and, man. And, and if I get lost in all of that, what you are trying to... It'll take me a lifetime. Good. It'll take me two lifetimes. How to, to be a righteous man. You, you see here, I, I want, I, I want you to, these, to these men two conditions. The, the true thing of God, what he wants of others, is lost. And all of that, 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 that you're trying no. to get every word right. My, every, my, Listen, my friend John, I told you earlier, in Islam, there is two factors to be righteous, two factors for the act of righteousness, two factors. Firstly, sincerity. You have to be sincere to God in order for you to do the thing. You don't want any pleasure. You don't want the pleasure of no one but God. You don't want thankfulness from no one but God. That's the first factor. The second factor, this act of righteousness has to be according to God. You cannot thank, I cannot thank you in the way that I, I think to thank you with, for example, for example, I don't know how you greet in, in Ireland. I don't know how you greet each other. I don't know how you say, uh, you know, for example, yeah, in different countries, they do different ways. Yeah. yeah. So that's How's why. The crack? That's huh? How's the crack in Ireland? How's the crack in Ireland? <laughs> but it yeah. means a different thing. Than yeah. It does over so my point is, so how about God? When God, we have to be dutiful to God the way that God wants us to be dutiful to. In the way that he wants. If yes. you want to worship God, yes. it should be the way that he wants, yes. not in the way that you invent. Any, far, any human father who has two sons yes. would want the, one son loving the other son and always being there and protecting the other son, even if the other son is bad. If that's more pleasing to God, if you Good. have a brother who's bad Good. and you're still there for him. And Good. You, you but if say, your brother tried to kill your father, what are you going to do? If, if my brother what? Tried to kill your father. Or hurt your father. Or hurt your father. You, will, you, will you not protect your father? Oh, that's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's my That's an point. easy one. Yeah. You see here. Yes, you will protect your father. You will protect that's your father. That's an easy one. Even if you're even... Question an Irish man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said I lost my brother. What yeah. the hell is yeah. 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 Exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. so the point is, you see here, that's why it's it's not about just only, oh, we, we should look at, you know, taking care of each other. We take care of each other. And the Prophet Peace of told that in a beautiful hadith. He said, support your brother whether if he's oppressor or if he was oppressed, support him. So the companion, they said, yeah, yeah, so, oh, messenger yeah. of Allah, we know if he was oppressed, we know how to support him, but how if he was oppressor, how we support him? He said, to stop him from oppression. That's how you support your brother. If my brother is oppressing, then I have to stop him. This is the way I'm supporting him, because I'm helping him not to commit sin, I'm helping him not to commit crime. Amr -maruf and that is what is it in Islam. Yeah. So that's why going back so to Muhammad. Believe in free will. Yeah, of course yeah. we do. We believe in free will. Yeah, of course. But you but know free. that you never had free will to be born. No. You didn't ask to be born. No, but that's no, no, free will that, doesn't our, mean to be born. Our, our free will is not absolute. That's what I'm saying. Our free will, by the way, our free will is not absolute. That's what I'm saying. If a human father puts his child yeah. in a crack house and yeah. that child becomes a crackhead, uh, but, uh, is the father, wouldn't the father be wrong to condemn he's, he's wrong he's wrong becoming a yeah, yeah. Uh, our free will so in islam i didn't have free will to be born our free will is not is not absolute in islam no, no, for you to be born or not that is up to god yeah That's okay to yeah. God. and as well by once the way you're born and he put me in the place yeah, yeah, by the way by the way also you're born then you get the free will you have the to free do will to do certain things yeah. but at the same time there are certain trials and tribulations and certain things which you have no choice if you walk from here and someone hit you with a car, that's not your free will. It is or if something you want happens. to fly, you can't just fly. Yeah? You understand? <laughs> so there are certain things decreed by God that you have no control with it. But the choice, but, but the I'm choice to be righteous. Any Listen. human father to judge that child and no, no. condemn that child for becoming a crackhead Th that when he placed him in that crack house, yeah. it would be wrong of human father. Yes, exactly. So why is it not wrong of a God, a father, to condemn us because he put us here? 
No, actually, I will tell you why. Uh, no, tell you. we didn't ask to be put. No, right? one second. We no, didn't ask no. to be here. Yeah, we didn't ask to be here, but think, God, no, but you're God mixing destiny and free will. Yeah, yeah don't, don't, mix, don't, don't mix two things. No. My or point is, my point is, we are here on this earth for a reason. We are living here temporarily on this earth to be tested. Yes, yes. tested. tested. Yes. So that's why if there is no test, if there is no trial, there is no test. So, so that's part of this. So what, what happens after the test and when you die and the resurrection Good. and the judgment? Then it's called the, the day of judgment. The, the first so, thing, the first thing God will ask you, this is the first thing, why you didn't submit to my will? That's yes. the first question. So what God, this is the meaning of Islam. That's the meaning of Islam, submitting to God. Anyone who submit his will to the will of God is a Muslim. So that's why the first thing that comes to you, the first question, why you haven't submitted to me, to God? And the first question you will be asked in your grave is, um, and two angels will come and ask you this question. In the grave. In the grave. This before the resurrection day. Now in the grave, they will come to you. They will beg you to sit down. Then they will ask you in the grave or at least to your spirit, whatever it is, whatever. Wherever your body is, whatever, but uh, they will be questioning that your, your soul now. They will ask your soul at that time, who is your Lord? Yes, but when Christ but, said but, that no man, every man is a sinner, no one we'll, is we'll, good. We'll come to the point. No let, let me finish, let me finish my point. That's why he died, so that at the resurrection, let me finish my we, point. When we are judged and we are tested from that testing, there is now knowledge of exactly what we need. To be actually, 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 you, actually. Do you believe in the thousand years spent with Christ? Or what? You believe in the thousand years? We don't know how long. After after the, the, he's talking about the second the coming. We, we don't know. The second life? We don't know. The thousand years. So if we you don't know. know that he's going to be coming. We believe that he's going to be coming. You are educated for a thousand years about all your faults and all your, your, your wrongs that you've done in life. By the end of that thousand years, you are then perfected and you can actually be in the presence of God. John. John, when, John, when we, we, we John, don't consider John, an innocent John, John, man we are divided. John, 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 we are, div we are just going to too many branches, yeah. diverted. Well, Let's go back yeah, to the. I'm not educated in yeah. that way, I, so I, I, I am just. I, I know. You know, you are more intelligent yeah. than many I, I, people I, I met today. By the way, trust me. My point, my point is. So the first question: Who's your Lord? Secondly, what's your faith? Who's the man was sent amongst you? Means who's your prophet? So the the true believer will say, Allah is my Lord. Allah means the one God. And my and faith you is, that's the true believer. and the true believer, yeah. And Islam is my faith, means submitting to God, is my faith. And Prophet Muhammad is my last, is my final messenger. And that is then, that's the first thing. So that's why it's after him. Yes. Now the point is to you, John. You said I don't know what, what if Muhammad said the truth or not. Actually, I will tell you something. Now there is one of the two choices. There is no third. Either Muhammad peace be upon him, and God forbid to say. Either he was a liar, or, or he was a truthful man. One of them. There is no third, third choice. Or he was crazy. Le, le, I, I doubt that he's crazy. I will tell you why. There is many testimonies that he can't be, he can't be crazy. Okay. The thing that he has said, it cannot be said by someone who is mental at all. Even with a small mental difficulty at all. He was so focused, peace be upon him, and as well he was the most wise person. The way that the Quran is, it will tell you it cannot come to someone who has, who has lack of even a small atom of wisdom. That's why he, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he was a, the, a, a person. Was really impressive. Now, one thing, either he was a liar or he was a truthful person. Now, if you say he was a liar, then the most important thing, if he need that, to lie, yeah, if he was a liar, why he need to praise God? Why he need to praise Jesus? Why he need to praise the other prophet, Moses, another? Why he need to say good things about them? In, in fact, Rather than he could take the credit for himself, well, it can be a case of he came. Told he came. He, he came to pagan, yeah. which makes sense to them. Paganism. He could just invent something related to what they have. But what he did, he opposed everyone. He opposed all paganism. Yeah. He opposed Jews. He Good. opposed the Christian. And then, in the same how time, many, before Muhammad, how many gods did the Muslim worship? There, there were no Muslims. But the, the Islam. There's no Islam before Muhammad. No Islam there used no to be, I will tell you what it was. Anyone, the, Arabs, the, the, Arabs, mean, the Arabs, the Arabs, they were pagans. They, they were they, pagans. They worshipped yeah, they worshipped 360, 65 so Muhammad times. came along at a time when he would have known about the Jewish people and the Torah. No. And, and they worship in one God. 
and he wanted to unite the Arabs by by introducing this one God, this belief in one God instead of 360. Actually, actually, he could unite the Arabs to be pagan more than to unite the Arabs to worship one God. That's that's more appealing to the Arabs at that time. Because think about it. Now, if I wanted to unite, for example, nowadays, yeah, if I wanted to, if I wanted to unite the yes. all Christian countries yes. in, in, in the Western countries, if I want to unite them, I will unite them. To be gay and all yeah, to be I will unite them in what? Yeah. I will unite them in Christianity. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. This is the common thing. Yeah. So yeah. the Arabs. Well, it is now. It's starting. Even the Pope is doing it. Yeah. yeah. So I will unite them in Christianity if, if it's about political thing. So when the Prophet Peace was sent, Instead of uniting them with the Jews, they were only little people, like little amount of people. And the Christian barely to even think there is Christian there in the Arab Peninsula. And yet, why he need to do that? And actually by him praising Jesus in the Quran, he was opposing the Jews. The Jews, they used to say bad things about Jesus. They still say bad things. They say he's a bastard. That's how they say about Jesus. My point is, if he, want, if he will unite the people, okay, he will use Judaism, but he didn't do that. But he could the use. Arabs were really oppressed at that time. Right? No, no, no. Just they were oppressors. They were the one doing. They the were oppressors. Okay. They were oppressors. At that time, yeah. yeah. Okay. They were oppressors. They Islam. were before Islam. Yeah, they used to. We call it the Jahiliya yeah, period. Through Muhammad, that ignorance. Both places were conquered, wasn't it? No, that Islam. So yeah, during his time. So, and so, by the way, by the way, don't mix. Yeah. By the way, before I'm talking about when I said this, no, no, no Islam before the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We're not talking about that because we believe all the prophets they were sent with Islam. They were sent with that to, to single out God in the battle submit to, the will of God. to submit to the will of God, that's Islam. So all of them, they came with that message. Yes. So all of them, they are Muslims. Yes. And that's the meaning of it. But I'm talking about the technical thing, the followers of Muhammad, peace be upon him. After he was sent, people used to be pagans. Pagans, they used to bury their daughters alive. To divide, they used right? to do all of these horrible things. Yes. They used to sacrifice animals for the idols. We used to do all of these kind exactly. of things. So we, you know, you see Mecca, you see Mecca. Yeah. They used to go around Mecca because which is house of Ibrahim, peace be upon him, which he built it to worship God. What they have done, they brought the idols, the idols inside and all around Mecca, all around Kaaba there. And then they used to do to go around. The, the Kaaba, naked, fully naked, men and women together, they used to be fully yes, naked. So Muhammad seen that and he didn't like what he seen. No, not about, okay. listen, it's not about what he likes, what he didn't like. He, wa he, was say he was saying, those definitely, those are not my God. So he went to ponder like Ibrahim, peace be upon him, to say, who is my, who, what are we doing here? Yeah. Yeah. Who, is the, who is the Lord, who is the creator? Then God revealed to him the first revelation. The first revelation came to him through angel Gabriel. Came to him. I said to him, read. He said, I'm not a reader. I said to him, read. I'm not a reader. He got, keep repeating, read. And I'm not a reader. And then it reminds me a story in the Bible, by the way, about a man to be given the scripture and he will be said to him, read. And he will be saying, I'm not a reader. That does it come to your mind somewhere? You never heard about it? Yeah, where, where is it? No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. And I say, so, no, and I say, so someone, so you see here, someone will be given the scripture, will be told, read, and he will be saying, I'm not a reader. Talking about Muhammad, peace be upon him. There is only one single person this applied to, which is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, I'm not a reader. He said, read, I'm not. Then he, he said, heard stories from the Jewish religion. He would have heard stories from the one God, the belief in the one God. At that time, he, he would have heard that, and he would have seen how united the Jews were. But no, the Jews they were not united. The Jews they were not united. No, no, the Jews weren't. Really they were not united. Okay. The, the, they were not they united. Down, they united. Okay, but they were not united. Seen, Allah said, Allah affirmed this in the Quran. He said, yeah. they, you think they are united, but they are not. Yeah. And the, you could see now nowadays, nowadays, the Jews are not, they were never united. Christians and Jews are not united. They were, they were never united. That's something no, which is and Jews and the no. Jews. Both of them are not. They're, united. they're never united. They are never united. And that's something which is known because they're all since the beginning they have Eve, Samarites, Jews, and the other and Ashkenazi. So they were never but, united. By the way, the Jews for them it's only from the race, you know. Yeah. So the, you can't just become a Jew. I mean, today they might have changed it, but back then it was like I, if either your parents are not Jewish, then you can't be Jewish. Your mother. Yeah. Yeah. They would actually go, but we'll see, no, they would trace the tribe from the father. The tribe is always traced from the father. And that's why they say David. And even and even, and even the Jews, uh, the Jews in Medina. What I believe in, in today is like the Muslim is being used as well as the Christian. You're not like, Christian, John. Come on. The enemy of this world. Come on, are John. The rich. John. John, listen. They're to the me. rich and the powerful. John. Who have started wars. John. 
I will give you. I will give you. I will give you one single. One single story. The listen, as well John. As the Christian. John, please listen to me to this one single story, and then at this point you will know that this Muhammad is was he a truthful prophet or not? Just one single story, and then uh, I will tell. I will tell you. Be that he was let let the me. Truth let me tell you. Truth that he let me. Let me tell you. Let me tell saying. you, which is not mentioned in the Bible, not mentioned in the scripture, not mentioned anywhere. This only uniqueness, and we discovered it recently. And I will tell you. At his time, when he moved to Medina, when he was established, but yet many of the Arabs, they still wanted to attack him, wanted to kill him, wanted to wipe Islam, because they basically changed the whole situation, changed the whole demographic. They said people worshipping all these idols to do, to do the pilgrimage to these idols. Now you can worship God anywhere. That's a problem for them. So what they have done, they said we need, they get together to wipe Islam, including the Jews. In Medina, they try as well, they conspired, they conspired against him to destroy Islam. During that time, during this, all these problems, yeah, and all of these sophisticated situations, he had his youngest son, all his sons, they died young. And he knew he will never have a, son, a living son because, it, that no, because otherwise... Way, naturally or no, 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 he has a, son, a wife, he has a wife. Yeah, he has a wife. So he died. He naturally, died. naturally, naturally, they died naturally. So he knew that God, because otherwise the people will take him, will, take, will inherit the prophethood. And Allah doesn't want the, prophet, the, the prophethood to be inherited. So his son, his, his last son, his name is Ibrahim. Yeah? He named him Ibrahim after his forefather Ibrahim. And his mother used to be a Coptic Christian. And then she embraced Islam, radiyallahu anha, Maria Qutiyah. And then she gave birth to his son, Ibrahim, the last son. And his son reached the age of two, two years old and died. Yeah? When, after he died, after his son died, in the same day, they have the sun eclipse. In the same day, in the very same day. So the morning he died, in the afternoon they had the sun eclipse. Solar eclipse. What the, what yeah. Solar eclipse. What they said, the people that have said, the, the solar eclipse, the sun eclipse because of the death of, our, the, death of the son of our prophet. That he, that's why God is sad for him. The sun is sad it's for like him. Sign. It's a sign. It's a sign from God that this calamity and all of these things, the hardship that he's going, the sun eclipse. It makes sense for that time, for people that yes. time. There is nothing in the Bible to say why the sun eclipse, why the moon eclipse. There is nothing. No one can know what's going on there. So he came out to the people. And even he was hasty to the people, dragging his garment because he was wrapping the garment. And the garment was dragging on the floor out of hastiness to kill the people. What are you, what are you talking about? So he came to the people. They said, he said, what you were saying? They said, we say, that the sun eclipsed, they have a solar eclipse because of your sun died. And then he said, verily the sun and the moon, those are signs of God. They will never have eclipse for the live, for the life, or the death of no one, including myself or my children. But if you see this, if you see this, rush and haste to pray to God, to praise God. So now here, if he was a liar, if he was advantageous person, Taking the advantage of the opportunities, as, as you may assume, opportunities. Yeah. If he was, he will say, yes, by the way, yeah, yeah you yeah. see here, yeah. look at my power. Yeah, God I'm not saying he wasn't a truthful yeah. man. Yeah, you see here, I'm not, I'm not saying he if he truthful was the man, truthful man. Was he the greatest example of a man? That if, he was, if he that was, if he was, if he was, you don't know much about him. You don't know much about him. Because yeah, the Look, I believe he's a better man than I ever be. Actually, you know what I mean? he about is. the greatest man. But he's, uh, if you read Michael Hart. But he's if you know, greater than Christ, is he greater than Christ? If you believe in what? He, he, he's the leader he, of all the, the prophets. He, 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 he's he the is the leader. The leader. Says about he is the leader is of he, the prophets. Do you know why? But then why is he not in heaven Christ on the ground? Good, good. Here, God wanted to test us and test you as a Christian and test everyone on earth for the death of Jesus. The people who conspired against Jesus, they wanted to kill Jesus. God wanted to, wanted to say to everyone, the life is in my hand. Not with you. I take the life and I keep the life of anyone. What he will do, that's why he, he left Jesus, peace be upon him, up without being crucified. He didn't die. He didn't taste the cup of death. He, he, Allah brought him up to him and Allah humiliated his opponent, those people who tried to crucify him. Allah humiliated them in this life and in the hereafter. But that's all he come back, he will be signed. We're never going to saw that. When he comes back, when he comes back, he will be signed about the truthfulness of God and the truthfulness of the prophethood of Muhammad peace be upon him and that's why he will live and I will tell you what will happen he will live here for 40 
could be 40 years, 40 months, 40 days. He will live on earth for 40. He will kill the Antichrist. He will kill the, the pig, the swine. And he will break the cross. And then he will rule with Islam. And he will stay here for 40. Then he will die like a normal man. And he will be buried. And we'll, we'll be praying on him. The believer, the Muslim, we'll be praying on him. And he'll be buried as a man. He and that's how it did die like a man. No, he didn't die. No, but it was Jesus. Like yeah, but you want me to believe that. I'm, I, but I believe it. He already did die like a normal man. And a God who dies. Come on, come on. Muhammad, come on. when Muhammad wakes up, do you remember we, we, we discussed asleep. that a righteous man will never be wakes up, abandoned? Will be like he fell asleep the night before. All of all of us the same day. Exactly. We'll John, why like don't you listen? Why don't you do something for me? When you go home, you when you go home today, I'm not here. Well, at the end of the day, you have a good heart, yeah. and we ask Allah to guide you to the right path. Yes. At the end of the day, I told you if he was liar, Muhammad, if he was a liar, he, if he was advantages. So no, 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 we believe in both we Christ believe. and Jesus. Look at us. And there is no, and there is no religion on earth that respects Jesus more than Muslims. No, the Jews they call him bastard. The Jews they call him bastard. The pagans they don't care well, about well, Jesus or anyone else. Not. And the yeah. Christians yeah. say he's cursed. And the and the Christian, said. even the Christian, they say he's the curse of the earth. Yeah. They call him curse about Jesus. We don't call him curse. We call we say about him. When we mention Jesus, what do we say? Blessed, yeah. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him. Yeah, and Mary. Yeah. Mary is blessed. And Allah Jesus said, blessed. That's, that's, Allah that's, said, that's as you believe look, as a prophet. Could, you believe could read in the Quran. You, you have a Quran, yes? Yeah, yeah? I do have a Quran. Yeah, yeah, you see, Allah says about him, when, when Allah spoke to him, Wassalamu alayya yawma walidtu, wa yawma amutu, wa yawma ubaatu hayya. Peace be upon me in the day that I was born, and the day I will die, and the day that I will be resurrected back again into life. He said this, peace be upon him. That's how we believe in him. So my point is, my brother John, why don't you leave all these hocus-pocus things, ambiguous and big? I don't believe it's hocus-pocus. No, but you believe, I believe it. it. You, you, but I don't believe, in, I don't believe in the Bible. You believe Jesus died for your sins? Yes. Don't oh, you believe that? That's hocus-pocus. So you see, do you see any justice in that? Yes, I do. Yes. Do you believe that killing an innocent man or planning the death of an innocent no, he man... No, kill him. He sacrificed. No, no, his, no, no, his sacrifice, sacrifice was planned according to the Bible. Himself. Was it not planned? Yeah, it must have been planned. So yes, if anyone plans it was the Christ. death of an innocent man, is that Christ not wrong? Christ. 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 So by, the, by the way, by the way, by the way. No, no, it was, his he death was, was planned by, by your God. By come on, come on. No, but his, his death was planned by the biblical God. Come on, John. You see here, John. The as well, did Jesus want it to be, to be killed? No, he didn't want to be killed. Not the human Jesus didn't want to be Come on. How many Jesus are there? How many? Come on. There's only one, no, that's a human the flesh, Jesus. The flesh, Jesus in the flesh. No, but he was. And the divine Jesus, who was, this, who's, uh, God uh, was inside. Earlier you said God there's no divine in. Jesus. He was not God. Come on. Is divine. Come on. You no, said no, there's no, the God. No, I didn't say that. No. no. You said, you no, said, no, said for three years. To, it'd be easy to make me look an idiot because no, I. No, no, no. No, no, I'm just going based on what you're saying. I respect you. You are respected. I'm just going based on what you're saying. So when you said divine Jesus, do you. What do you understand by that term? That he is from heaven. From, uh, from God. Uh, we are, was, according to you, we all are from God, God, are we not? According David to David was son of God. We are God. all from God. Yes. And according to you, we all three. Was Adam from God? Yes, of course. Yes. Yes. So yeah, then so we're he, all from God. So we believe that everyone, when we say from God, we mean they are creations of God. Yeah. But not big, not God. So we don't call them divine. Just because they're creation doesn't make them divine. No, I know, yeah, but uh, this was so there's begotten, no. so. Yeah, by the way, it is the church. Begotten. What, That's what where you made it was. from the church. Oh, the church. Begotten. Listen, I went to a church. <laughs> I know, That's what I'm saying. You're repeating what you learned in the come church. On, John. That John. is divine, the that is begotten. The would all John. stand outside the church. Yeah. Come on, you John. Know, uh, and you know, by the are you, are you, are you Catholic? By the, are you, you used to be Catholic? Yeah, you I was brought up a Catholic. He's Irish, but not obviously. Practicing. My mother never sent me off to school, off to church every every Sunday. Yeah, yeah. God is merciful enough. To pardon your sins, if you sincerely ask him for forgiveness, mm. for for repent, uh, you repent yes. to him sincerely. And everyone will. Yeah, but at the resurrection, but God doesn't need will. God doesn't need the blood of an innocent man you to forgive you. You will abandon your religion. You will abandon why? Why? Your why? Was that? The Christian will, the Christian will abandon theirs because why what about you? There will only be one, and that's Christ. Christ is. No, no, come on, uh, come at, on, John. In, John, at John, the resurrection, John, you will John. know. John, 
Is there an eyewitness for, for, Does it say for that? Does say that Muhammad is going to be there at the resurrection? Yeah. That of he's course going he to judge? Yeah. All is of he us. going to judge? He's All going to intercede. Not judge. He he's going to intercede. intercede. No, no. But the judgment. The judgment. Christ, you know no, they no, go to Jesus and Jesus will send them to. Do they say Christ is going to judge? Sorry? No, no. He's no. not Christ going to judge no. at the resurrection? No, no. no. He's Christ, going to rise. Christ will no. judge on the earth as a judge. But not in the day of judgment. Not in the day of judgment. In judgment, he's a, he's a servant. He's, he's a slave heaven, of God. Just the fact that he's in heaven. Uh, you're Muhammad repeating the same thing, John. Come on. By the way, by the way. Even, by the way, by the way. There are other prophets are in heaven as well. Are there prophets are in heaven? Yes, I told him already. Okay, listen. That, Gabriel, really Angel, Angel Gabriel is in heaven. It was really good talk. By the way, John, I, I told you one thing before you go home. Today, when you go home, all what I want from you, just take a shower. Go home, shower. Come out. Why do I smell? <laughs> no, no, just take a shower. Right, just purity in front of God. Say, God, I know you're there. I know you hear me. I know you see me. Guide me. Be sincere. Guide me to the right path. Yes. Where is the right path? Show me the truth. Sincerely, say, do that. I have done that. And this Try is to why do I believe that Try. I do. That's why you became closer to Islam. <laughs> more than Christian. <laughs> do it more, and maybe you're going to become Muslim. Yeah, well, I would you be never Muslim. know. If, if the Muslim believe in Jesus Christ, then I But we do believe in Jesus Christ. We believe in Jesus Christ. More than the Christians do. In, no, in we believe. Uh, no, you can't. Uh, you, you have your own, uh, your own interpretation. By the way. By the way, John, yeah, yeah, please do this to Before tonight. you go, can I just Jones. remind you of one analogy? Okay? Imagine this, yeah? You are the judge in the court of law. And there is a convicted criminal in front of you. Let's say a murderer. You're the judge. The jury, yes. the judge, both of them have convicted this guy who, who murdered someone and has condemned Zishan. him to be punished. Yeah? But then you say, hold on, I'm not going to punish him. I'm going to take my innocent son and punish him instead. Would you be a just judge? Or would Repeat you be would you be judge? Say that again. Okay. So if you're the if you're I'm the judge. If you're the judge and you have you have, uh, with all the evidence presented to you and the jury, you have now condemned this person who is a murderer of a criminal uh, of the crime of murder, and then you decide, anyway, as a judge, that you are not going to punish the convicted right, criminal, the murderer, but you are going to take your innocent son and punish him instead. Okay. Would you be just? No. Good. No. Would you expect such injustice from God Almighty? No. Exactly. So anyone who says that Jesus Christ is going to pay for your sins by dying for you, you're blaspheming God by saying that he's unjust. It's a sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. Jesus. A sacrifice. a sacrifice is something which is willing. He was not willing to go to the cross. In the Garden of Gethsemane, he falls on his face. Oh, he had a, he had a weak moment. But, weak but you see, that is... That, that's a, that's, that tells you that is what the unwillingness is. Anyway, I, I, I need to go. I need to speak to them. That's a lie. John, nice talking to you. No, no, that's a lie. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, I'll accept that. No problem. Yeah. All right, John, you take care. Right. But think about Hashim. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right, Hashim. Okay. All right, my brothers and sisters. May Allah reward you. Thank you, John. May Allah guide you, John, to the right path. Jazakumullah khair, my brothers and sisters. May Allah guide him to Islam. Alhamdulillah, today we had two people who yeah, sincerely Allah. wanted to learn. And we ask Allah Azza wa to guide them to the right path. Inshallah Ta'ala, with your dua, Inshallah Ta'ala, make dua for them. And give us, and as will make dua for us, that Allah to enable us to bring people close up to Islam. Allah I don't know which one is which and who's who. Yeah, just leave it here, they'll take it.